Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Chris here. So I'm back today to walk through, uh, if you can't tell, get diff. So before we get into merging branches, uh, we need to be able to see uh, what work we've done and how that work differs from what already exists. This tool helps us to determine what things we want to keep or might not want to keep depending on uh, what we are merging. So very quickly, we'll go through the first kind of initial steps of every experience with Git, which is we will grab a repository. And I'm gonna head to my terminal and we will git clone, paste that in. And I'm going to put this into the directory gg-pr with this additional parameter. And that is just so that I save some characters on my terminal. All right, so we will cd into gg-pr. Once we're here, we'll see we're in the main branch. Let's do a git log, and we can see everything that we've done up to date. Very cool, very cool. You can see we're also up to date with the uh, remotes, which is awesome. Uh, we can check to see if there are any branches with the git branch command. We see there's just the main branch. So like most of the activities we're going to be doing, the first thing that we want to do is check out a new branch. Uh, so we're going to use the git switch dash c and then we're going to use feature branch add feature for this and now we're on the branch uh, fb add feature we can check that with git status see that indeed we are on that branch and we can also check it with the git branch command and see here we are perfect now that we're in our new branch we are going to go ahead and we are going to add the new feature that we want to, and we're going to nano into that new feature. Once we're here, we're gonna make our program. Once we've made our program, we can use the keyboard commands, control O, enter, control X, replace control with command if you're on a Mac, in order to save and then quit nano. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and add this feature. Now that that feature is staged, we can go ahead and get into our first application of git diff. So what we can do right away is we can use the git diff command with the flag staged in order to see the diff for our staged changes as well as our previous commit or the commit, the head commit. So basically, So you'll notice that this new screen comes up. Oh my God. So you'll notice that this new screen comes up and we get a lot of information. Now you can really get into the weeds on what this diff block is saying, but for right now, we're just gonna pay attention to some of the easily accessible changes just so we can not be overwhelmed by the feature. As you can see, I've added this new file. That's what these pluses indicate. And the file has this new line. So very straightforward to, to kind of navigate. Let's take a peek and see what happens if we add another file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a second feature. We'll create that. We will edit it to do something. Once we finish writing our program, we can control O, enter and control X. Now we can go ahead and we can add that second feature. Once that's been staged, and we can check that with git status, you'll see that both of these are in new file and they are staged. We can use our git diff staged again to see quite a lot of information. So what we see is we have these two files that have been added as well as we have this information duplicated. So don't worry too much about the fact that it's been duplicated. For now, just focus that we have these two blocks that indicate to us we've added these two new files and they contain these contents. So let's go ahead and commit our changes. Okay. Now that we've committed these changes, what happens if we use that same git diff staged command? You'll notice that since nothing is in staging, we don't get any results. Perfect. The next thing we're gonna look at requires us to open our git log. So as you can see, we have this head. Now that's pointing to a specific commit. We also have 
the rest of our commit history, Git has this awesome feature where we can reference using relative notation commits previous to head. If we want to address a commit relative to our head, we can use the following format to do so. So let's say we wanted to address this commit here. Now this commit is one, two, three commits before our head. So what we can do in our terminal is we can type git log, and then let's say we want to look at that commit that's third back from head. We use this head tilde three notation, and that shows us this commit that was three back from head. And we can use it with diff to look at two commits relative to each other very quickly. So let's say we wanted to see what happened in our new feature in the last commit. What we can do is we can use the command git diff head tilde one head and then pass the file new feature.py and that's going to show us the diff between our current commit and the previous commit and what has happened since then. So let's just run through what this command is saying. It's saying, hey, get me the diff between the commit previous to the head, which is what we're currently working on, and the head. And I only want to look at that for this new feature. So this is a very, again, very powerful tool that can help us really see exactly what's changed in our file. Now, what if we wanted to look at all of the changes we've made to this branch since it diverged from main? Well, we can look at that with the following command, git diff main. So you'll notice that this should look very familiar. And indeed, this is the exactly the diff we saw previously when we were looking at our staged diff. Now, let's make some more changes and see what that looks like. Okay, so I've gone ahead and made some changes. I've modified new feature, as well as I've added a third feature. Let's go ahead and look at the diff once we stage these. We'll use the command git add dot to add all of the changes that we're making to our staging. We can see that that's worked by looking at our git status. Now let's go ahead and use the git diff dash dash staged command to see what's happened or what's changed. So as you can see, I modified our first feature or new feature.py to be more in line with the rest of our features. And we can also see that I've added this new file and I have added this line of code to it. So let's go ahead and commit those changes. Now we can see in the git log that we are two commits ahead of origin main. We are on this most recent commit for our head. Let's go ahead and use the git diff main command again. And this time you can see, we don't see where we changed this anymore because we are just seeing all of the things that have changed since this branch diverged from main. So that's an incredibly powerful tool that's gonna really help to see what's changing, you know, what files are being changed, what changes are being made to those files. And the idea of git diff is that it's going to really help us understand what to do in the case of merge conflicts. And that is going to let us be able to handle our merges effectively and with good confidence that we're, we're changing the right things. So we'll just do a quick recap. The first case we looked at was looking at the diff between our current commit or our head and our staged changes with the git diff dash dash staged command. As you can see, I've removed the hello last world and replaced it with a don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. The second use case we discussed was looking at commits previous to our current commit or the head commit with the structure git diff head use this tilde to indicate the number of relative commits you want to go back. And that will show us the diff between what we have in our current head commit and previous. 
Now remember that the above command is just a less explicit way of writing this command, which is git diff head tilde one head, and that we can change either parameter. So say we wanted to check the diff between the commit two back from head as well as the commit one back from head, we could use that command structure to see the difference between those two commits. Also remember that you can specify which file you want to look at the diff for. So we can add this additional parameter of our file and that will show us the diff for that specific file. The last use case we covered was checking the diff between our current working branch and another branch. In this case, we use the example git diff main. And that shows us how our current branch is different from our main branch. All right, so that's a brief introduction to the git diff command. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, go ahead and click the, uh, the like button or, or subscribe. I'm gonna be releasing new git videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So uh, if you're interested in that, that's when those are gonna be coming out. And uh, we'll see you in the next one where we're going to get a little bit further into discussing what Emerge is and how we might do it with Git. All right, have a great day.